Welcome everybody to today's video. We're going to talk about the steps to become an enrolled agent. So let's get started. All right, guys, so when you're thinking about becoming an enrolled agent, really embarking on this journey, there are a few steps that you want to take to successfully get there. So we're going to talk about that on today's video. Quick introduction. If you are new to me, welcome. My name is Krista Tyus, and I teach tax and accounting professionals how to get more clients utilizing social media so that you guys can build a multiple six-figure virtual firm. I come up with weekly content, so if you are new to me or if you haven't quite hit the subscribe button just yet, come on over, join the family. I come out with weekly content every single week. All right, so I want to go over some very specific steps for you guys that you want to take when you are embarking on your enroll agent journey. So I embarked on this journey several years ago, back in 2012. I geeked out, you know, trying to figure out all the steps, all the things that I needed to do. And I want to just kind of speed up your success, right? So you don't have to be Googling all the things, right? Listening to everybody. I just want to condense it down for you in a succinct way so you can go ahead, take action, and become an enrolled agent. All right. So step number one that you want to do is obtain your prepare tax identification number. And I recently did a video talking about the differences between a P10 and an EFIN. So make sure you check out that video. I'll put the link below so you can check it out. But your prepare tax identification number, a number that begins with the, the letter P, and it is a number to identify you as a professional paid prepare. And you're going to utilize this identification number on every single paid tax return that you prepare throughout your tax professional career. Okay. Um, the prepared tax identification number takes about 15 minutes. You want to go to irs.gov and go ahead and apply for your P10. Now they do need to verify you. So you are going to need your identifying information, such as your security number, you know, obviously your name, your address. Um, and it's helpful to have your most recently filed tax return available because they're going to be using that information to verify you. The second step to becoming an enrolled agent is to study, right? So there are, you know, with today's technology, there are a lot more options on the marketplace right now. What I used was a book by Passkey off of Amazon. So I'm going to put some links below that you can actually check out the books that I personally used several years ago. But now there are courses online that you can actually take. I guess the reason why you would probably want to take a course over just reading the book is speed, right? You just want to learn faster. So a book, obviously, you have to read each page. You know, you have to take the time and actually go through it. It personally took me three months to read and pass all three parts of the enroll agent examination. But if you take a course, you can actually move a lot faster because now you are watching video, you are listening to audio, and you have versions to read. I'm in partnership with certifiable.com and they have a wonderful online course that you can take to help you study for all three parts of the special enrollment examination. And they're really affordable. So you can take the course, you can watch videos, you can listen to the audio, and you can read the text. So they have three different formats that you can study to help you move faster throughout this journey. Now, I'm not biased, right? I'm very fair with regards to the services and software that I promote. So yes, I'm going to link down past key below, which is what I really personally used several years ago. I'm going to link down certifiable.com. And I'm also going to link down a few other software platforms that I've personally heard from my students worked really well for them. So once you study for tax law, people typically ask, you know, how long does does it normally take? Well, for some people, it takes them about 30 days to study for all three parts, others a few months, upwards to a year. It really just depends on your work schedule and your goals, right? How fast or how slow you plan on moving throughout this journey. What I would say is on average, 
it takes about 60 hours of studying, right? So if you look at 60 hours, now you just need to budget in, well, how much time do you have to really study all of the material and how long is it gonna take you? So for some people, yes, they can study 60 hours in a matter of a month and go ahead and take all three parts of the special enrollment examination. For other people, they might only have the capacity to study maybe one hour a day and it might take them two months. So it really just depends depends on you, your work schedule, and go at your own pace, right? This is not a sprint is what I normally tell people. Becoming a real agent is a marathon. It's not something that you want to just pop up and do um, and get microwave results. You actually want to take your time, make sure you understand the information because you will be utilizing this information with real client tax returns. Right. So the next part on becoming an enrolled agent is, is to visit Prometric's special enrollment examination page and actually schedule for testing. So you do have to schedule the enrolled agent exam separately. So there are three exams that you have to take. There's individual tax law, business tax law, as well as representation tax law. And each test costs $182 to take. And typically there are no refunds. Now you do go inside of a testing center, right? This is not online. You physically have to find a testing center near you and you go to the testing center and you're gonna test on their computers with their supplies. From there, right after you take your exam, they're gonna give you a pass or fail. If you pass, it's gonna say that you are qualified, you pass. If you fail, it's actually gonna give you a diagnostic report to show you your areas of opportunities, the things that you need to study upon. Now, the IRS has what's called a scaled grading system. And the scaled grading system is you will pass your special enrollment examination with a 105 points or higher. If you score below 105 points, you will be issued a failed diagnostic report showing you your areas of opportunity. If you pass with over 105 at 105 or higher, you will be issued a passed report upon completion of the special enrollment examination. So the same day that you take the test, right after you hit the submit button, it's going to print and generate your results on demand. So you're going to know either what more you need to study and focus on to improve, or you're going to go out with your past diagnostic and continue on to the next testing. Now, after you pass all three parts of the special enrollment examination, you do need to formally apply with Internal Revenue Service to become a licensed enroll agent with them. And so you want to apply for enrollment and pay the enrollment application fee, which is $67. And you want to go to irs.gov and actually fill out form 23. You can actually pay online at pay.gov and pay for form 23 online. And that's the preferred method. It's actually the fastest method as well. And again, the fee to apply is $67. Now the Internal Revenue Service will do a suitability check on you. So what that means is they're gonna look to see, are you compliant with your own taxes? They're also gonna look to see, do you have any outstanding liabilities? And third, they're going to definitely look to see if you have a criminal background. And so this is where, you know, some people are concerned because some people haven't filed their taxes. Maybe they owe the Internal Revenue Service money. Typically, if you are in good standing, which means that if you do have a balance, but you're paying timely installments, that typically won't have a negative impact on you. And as far as the criminal background, I'm not totally sure, but I do know that if the crime was, you know, associated to a financial crime, that it is more than likely that you won't be approved for an enrolled agent license. But I always tell people, go ahead and apply the worst that they can say is no, in which case you can go ahead from there and figure out other alternatives on how you want to grow or start your business. Once you actually become an enrolled agent, there are some additional items that you need to make sure that you are doing every single year. So one of them is you want to renew your status 
every three years. So you are to be taking what's called continuing education courses every year. And within that three year period, you have to have taken at least 72 hours of continuing education, right? And there are a plethora of continuing education courses. I'll link some below for you guys, but you wanna make sure that you're spending that time each and every year investing in your skills, not only to invest in your skills, right? So you can become more knowledgeable for your clients, but also so that you can keep your licensure active. The second step that you wanna do is obtain continuing education. So again, we just went through this with the first step, but you wanna make sure that you put your continuing education regimen on your calendar. So typically you might wanna take one continuing education class, you know, a month, or maybe you wanna binge every quarter. You wanna just have a continuing education plan for yourself because trust me, this step, <laughs> can go by fast, right? I've actually, you know, lost track of my continuing education and at one point lost my active status for my license because I just fell off keeping up with my continuing education, right? Those years go by fast and, you know, you're not thinking about it. So just have a continuing education plan, right? Either you're gonna take a class once a month or if you're gonna take a few classes every quarter, you wanna just get it out of the way, right? And just put it on your calendar for yourself. The third thing is you do wanna renew your P10 annually, right? Typically this is free, it may change in the future, but right now it's currently free to obtain and renew your prepared tax identification number. And you wanna renew it every year around December. You can keep that prepare a tax identification number active for the current tax season. All right, guys, these are the quick steps to becoming an enroll agent. No matter where you are in your journey, definitely honor yourself, right? And take your time, right? Like I said, it's not a sprint. It is a marathon. You want to make sure that you understand the information. You also want to make sure that you aren't wasting money and trying to cram all this study material in and then wasting $180. So make sure you take your time, right? And have have a solid date in mind and goal on when you want to be able to say that you pass all three parts of the exam. I'm super excited for you guys. I wish you nothing but luck and blessings on your journey. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.